This was the Class 7 Pacific, known as the Britannia class, after the first built engine, number 70,000. They were to be allocated to all the regions, the successors to the old independent companies, and a total of 55 were built. With six foot two inch driving wheels and only two cylinders, they were unlike anything produced before and were somewhat utilitarian in appearance. Ten Pacifics were built with small oils as class six and known as clams for use in Scotland. Rather more standard class fives were built, 172 of them. They were a logical development with standard fittings of the LMS Stanier class fives and therein lies the foundation of the standard range. British Railways CME was Robin Riddles, an ex-LMS man, and his design team was recruited from ex-LMS staff. There were three types of class fours, 460s, 260s, and these 264 tanks. Class three 260s and the 262 tanks were a Western speciality, a standard version of the large prairies, whilst the final standards were the class 9F freight engines, a brand new design which traced its ancestry to the Stanier 8Fs via the wartime Dubdies or austerities. 251 of these spaceships were constructed, and the last one was the last BR steam engine to be built. Our regional roundup starts, as usual, with the Western, no longer great. A batch of Britannias was allocated to the Western in 1951. The first Pacifics on these metals since the solitary number 111 of the Great Bear, and of course LMS, SR and LNER participants in the 1948 exchanges. The Western drivers didn't really take to them, as their own standardization, which had now lasted half a century, meant they were familiar with one type of cab layout and method of working. The new standards were totally alien in concept, and to boot, left-hand drive, when all Western engines were right-hand drive. This meant that sighting of signals was difficult, and led to an accident at Didcot in 1955, as a result of which the smoke deflector handrails were removed. Most of them had been transferred to the London Midland region by the end of the decade, leaving traditional Great Western types to rule the roost until the end of steam. Even the naming of some of the Britannias after the stars had failed to mollify Western traditionalists. It probably enraged them further. <laughs>